Hey everybody, Will Taylor coming to you with the strings attached news at the end of October. And if you've clicked through this to me from Facebook or on one of our newsletters, welcome. I just want to give you a quick update what's coming up and to share some exciting news of a donation I received uh, about a week ago for Strings Attached Cares, stringsattachedcares.org. All the information for the shows I'm going to talk about, you can get tickets at stringsinthewoods.com or stringsattached.org. <laughs> so, um, real quick, this uh, Sunday at 4 p.m., I have a very exciting, special guest with Str at Strings in the Woods, and we have quite a few people who have signed up but the concert is going to be in a huge field. The sun's going to be out. You can bring a picnic. You can bring your family. You can bring the kids. And it is somebody that I share a birthday with. We were born on the same day and the same year. We've been making music together for how long now? 16 years. The first show that we did was at St. David's Church in 2003. And I've known him all the way back to 1989, 1990, when he played with the Psalm Street Spankers. Uh, you can hear him on the Will Taylor and Strings Attached uh, music outlets all over Spotify. His name is Guy Forsyth. So Guy Forsyth and I and Caramal will be playing a show at Mary Moore Seawright, but to get the exact location, that's Mary Moore Seawright Park this Sunday, October 27th. To get the exact location, you got to RSVP at stringsinthewoods.com. We're going to be playing mainly Guy Forsyth music. And that's, of course, that'll be all over the map if you know Guy. That's, it's just so much fun. So it's been a while since I played a show with Guy Forsyth and Strings Attached. And we hope to see many of you there at Mary Moore Seawright Park. 4 p.m. is the start of the event at a Strings Attached, actually at a Strings in the Woods event. We usually have a guided walk where I take you through nature with my fiddle, talk about the, the park, the history, the plants. We've got a plant expert coming along, but guess what? This plant walk, this fiddle walk is already sold out. So the concert starts at 5 p.m. and you can get tickets and RSVP at stringsinthewoods.com. That's October 27th, Guy Forsyth at Strings in the Woods. Incredible uh, response so far. Uh, we also are Announcing our next Beatles and Barbecue show at a beautiful piece of land in South Austin, March 7th, Beatles and Barbecue happening again. We can accommodate about 200 people. Last show we had about 100, and the weather was fantastic. The sun went down. We had barbecue from Valentina's Tex Mex, and we're uh, setting the next date of March 7th. That's a Saturday. That's before South by Southwest. So here's my story. I've been helping a friend who's been going through some hard times, some depression, and I've had some success in, um, I just felt really, really great, you know, helping her realize that when she could put her mind on a project that uh, excited her, and, you know, maybe it was helping other people, that when she would be involved in that project, that she would forget her troubles, that she would find maybe for an hour or two hours, her troubles would just disappear. And I found myself getting caught up in the excitement of helping her sort of figure out what that project would be. And it was really exciting. We were talking about um, therapy dogs. And I found when I was helping her that I was excited and, el and had this elated emotion overtaking my body and my troubles I didn't think about my troubles. So in my meditation today, I just had this kind of epiphany, and it was just like a reminder. It's nothing new. But when we get all stressed, and we have stress hormones going through our body, our brain becomes fragmented, and a lot of times we forget these things. And a lot of times I just write, you know, the top five things that I know will move me, that will take me back to that place of being in joy with life, being in love with life. And I'll have them on a little uh, <clears throat> note card in my car. Because a lot of times, I just forget these things because stress hormones are going around in my body. But in any case, during the meditation today, I was really overcome with joy in the fact that, you know what? It's true. It works for me too. When I am helping other people, it's when I'm kind of in the highest joy. And I sort of, in the meditation, I saw my whole life that way. You know, 
the performances that I almost get the most feedback from from myself, that I get the most joy, are the ones where we go out and we help the elderly and we play for people in memory care centers or helping had home for children where I was helping abused and neglected children learn how to play guitar. And it's like time stands still, you know, artists and musicians and painters and and anybody that gets caught up in activity, they talk about that flow state. Well, the most, the, the times that I find myself in that flow state, I kind of in it right now telling you about this, where, you know, you don't have that sense of time going by, where the, the neocortex or the, 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 the prefrontal cortex takes over and the, 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 the circuits in your brain that keep track of time are calmed down. Well, when I'm helping others, when I'm in memory care centers, all these things that I've just talked about. And so in my meditation, I, I was just like kind of seeing my whole life through that lens. And, and even when I'm doing a concert, you know, the feeling is I'm helping others have joy. I'm helping others have a beautiful experience. And then it becomes a beautiful experience for me at the same time. So I want to encourage you to, to do that, to find that in your life. But here's the thing. We just received a $450 donation from an individual named Carolyn. Thank you, Carolyn, for donating to Strings Attached Cares because that enabled me to go out and do more of that work that I love, that feeds me spiritually, that feeds me and makes me excited and in love with life. That means being able to take my violin and my happy self and the people that I take along with me, uh, like Karen Mall, the people of Strings Attached, I take them out to these places in, that are in need of lively individuals and bring that joy and then it, in return I'm paid back tenfold in the joy in just helping others, helping others at the end of their lives, helping others that don't have memory anymore, uh, helping children that have been abused and neglected that need to have that sort of tether for even a few months so that they can restart their lives and their limbic brains can calm down and they have a, f a possible future. So, you know, it was a great reminder that when helping this friend and noticing that for that whole time that I was helping her, I was, I was in love with life and I forgot about my troubles. So it, maybe it is that simple. Maybe it is that simple is, is to find as much time as you can or to look through that lens in your life, no matter what you're doing. You know, I have a hard time being on the computer a long time by myself, but if I look at through the lens of like, this is eventually going to be helping somebody, this project I'm putting together, maybe it'll make me feel a lot more joyful and in love with life. So that's a lot of time there spent on this little update, but I hope to see you this Sunday, October 27th for Guy Forsyth at Strings in the Woods with Karen Mall and Will Taylor and the big show Beatles and Barbecue, March 7th. I know that's a long time away, but hey, go ahead and put it in the calendar right now. And I hope that many of you will check out stringsattachedcares.org and consider donating. And also, we're coming up to our winter season and we're looking for house concert hosts. Any of you that would like to have a Strings Attached or Will Taylor show during the Christmas period, some holiday tunes, we're booking holiday shows. We're booking house concerts. How would you like to have a string quartet? How would you like to have me plus another singer-songwriter come play for your family and friends and bring some beauty into your life when we have this cold weather. So it's easy just to make a comment below or contact me at 512-589-8749. Find some folks to make a difference. Find some folks that you can help. Find some people that you can help. And you'll find that it helps you at the same time. So stringsattached.org or stringsinthewoods.com for all our upcoming shows, or contact me by commenting below, or shoot me a text. Take care, everyone. Sending love. Take care.